this is a video on how to update your ZBitX with the latest firmware and software. And you do this for two reasons. One is that there may be bugs given that it's a very complicated piece of software which is running your radio. So you might want to upgrade to iron out some wrinkles in the software. And the other and more important thing is that all the time new features are being added by a whole gang of radio hams to it. And it's all available for you for free. So your ZBitX will keep growing in its capabilities over a period of time rather than you know, being out of date. But to do that, you have to connect the ZBitX to the net and connect it to a, an HDMI uh, monitor and attach keyboard and mouse through the USB port here. So I have a wireless USB port um, for my keyboard and mouse. So this is my keyboard and that's my mouse. And then I basically switch this on. And then we basically move over to my monitor. Just wait for this to boot. It's a fairly simple process. And it's best explained graphically rather than giving you the steps because you need to know where to click and what to do. So we just wait for this to come up. And this will start running the ZBitX automatically, which you have to kill. So is the ZBitX running? So I will just finish this off. And <clears throat> here, in this window here, I type dot slash update. Remember that the dot slash is very important. Okay. And then press enter. And that's all there is to it. So it will fetch the latest or, you know, uh, stuff from the internet. Of course, you have to have the Raspberry Pi connected to the net like here. It's already connected to the Wi-Fi. And it will recompile your uh, as SBTEC software for the latest version. And as soon as it's done, we are done here. So it's a fairly simple process. It shouldn't take, you know, be a challenge at all for you to do it. Uh, it would be a good thing to do, uh, to run the updates every 15 days to a month to see what's latest here. And this is it. So now that we are done with this, you can directly power off this and restart it to get the latest 